Well, hey, welcome back to EMC, everyone. We are in Taidong, and uh, we're on a little road trip, brother. Road trip? Oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. <laughs> well, we haven't done a road trip together in, I don't know, a long time, man. So, I finally got the 996 Turbo back, and uh, his GRRs is pretty damn hooked up. Um, just having a little fun. Well, it's kind of considered a work trip too. Mm -hmm. It is work. You know, I'm here in Taidong. Uh, I'm doing a new film project. Figure we come down. Maybe we can get a surf in tomorrow morning. You know, and uh, kind of just enjoy Taidong and have some fun. But good weather so far. How does your car feel? Feels pretty How's, good. Feels yeah. pretty good. Even with driving five hours down. Yeah, I mean, I drove four hours down. My back doesn't hurt. <laughs> When I was on Suhua, oh my god, I was passing everyone with this thing, man. Was, <laughs> Dude, <laughs> your car is fast. Yeah, it is fast. Your car is fast. It's, fa it's fast enough. It's yeah, fast, yeah. man. It's really fast. We're just going to have you guys follow us around these next two days. And, uh, oh yeah, check out our feet. So, Yo, when in Rome, you got you to gotta go barefoot. All right? yeah. It's the only way to go. <laughs> All I hear is Ryan's Yaris HKS BOV. It's ridiculous, but it's fucking hilarious. I love it. Well, I love it, dude. It's fucking awesome. Oh man, dude, I'm, I'm so happy we're doing a road trip, man. No. No. <laughs> this is fun. This is what, you know, modifying cars and doing road trips is all about. I think Chris is coming down later. Oh, is he? Yeah, Chris is coming down later. In the so, R8? Uh, yeah, in the R8. So maybe we can uh, get another drive in later. But no, this is beautiful. This is fucking beautiful. Actually, guys, this is my first time in Taitung. All right? I know it's weird, but it's a beautiful place. They call this what, like the Hawaii of Taiwan or? Taiwai. Taiwai. Yeah. This is Taiwai, man. Yeah. <laughs> For everyone outside of Taiwan watching, this is Taiwai. Hi, Gong. What's up, Jason? Yo. Yo. What's up? You're going to hit me. You're going to hit me. You're Definitely not this punk yeah, ass. Definitely, definitely. definitely not this guy. A little weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, um, we are on set. We're in Changbing, Taidong. It's a new film. I can't tell you too much. Because if I tell you, I'm going to have to kill you guys. I don't want that to happen. But uh, yeah, once the production and the director decides to, you know, let the media know and let everyone know, that's when you guys will know. But uh, yeah, you know, take you guys around. See, this is the cool thing about Taidong. It's like a county. It's like it's like Hawaii. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cute. Many hours later. It's on the walk. It's on the walk. <laughs> I'm kind of buzzed. I drank a lot, but I'm good. She's bitches. <laughs> well, what are we gonna do now? I don't know. What, what is there to do here? <laughs> no, what is there to do here? Hey, this place has a bar. You see? We have a bar. We have a bar. We have a bar. Good morning. Beautiful day. Um, yeah, so Ryan went back 
That's not good. Yeah, he went back early. <laughs> yeah. He couldn't wait to go back. I thought he was going to stay with us, but yeah, I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um, he drove the R8. And yeah, dude, we had a good night. It was fun. It was fun and a little bit fucked up. But <laughs> yeah. I lost my keys. Well, we uh, found it. We found them, yeah. It was in my room. Yeah, and I went to the beach and, and looked look the whole beach, like searched the whole beach for the for the keys. Like stones everywhere and every stone I was like turning around and like looking, is this my key? No. Oh man. I was so drunk last night. Oh man. However, it's really beautiful here. We're staying at this uh, cabin style villa. So we're staying at this place called Yongyue Xingsu. It's pretty dope. You know? I love it. Let's just do a quick wrist check. We're gold buddies today, huh? Yeah. Oh, I right. love this one. It's a nipple dial one, right? Yep, this is the 16808. It's a yellow gold Submariner uh, from the 80s, nipple dial. And the cool thing about this is that the dial faded to kind of like a champagne color gold. Um, some people call it tropical. You know, some people just say it's kind of like something that fucked up with Rolex. You know, they they, just they use different materials for the dials and uh, you know, different batches of different productions, they kind of fade. Uh, usually when you say tropical is when a black dial turns brownish. As it's more patina. like, yeah, as a patina, it's more oxidized. Uh, this one is an oxidation effect, but it turned more gold. So I think that's pretty special. The guys from Gray and Patina, uh, Curtis, if you're watching this, big shout out to Curtis, my boy. Uh, you found this watch for me. It's something that I will keep and you know I like, and it's a very summer watch. And uh, I know people are gonna be like, why the hell are you wearing a gold watch at the beach? Why the hell are you going to Taidong? It's a sports watch. It's a sports watch. It's, sports it's something watch. cool. And it's, it's my daily. So if you got a problem with that, fuck it. Yeah, what are you wearing? Tell us about what you're wearing. Yeah, I'm also wearing kind of a sports watch, actually a pilot watch. It's a Santos, it's a 100 year anniversary one. This is dope. So this one is still the one without the in-house movement. I, I believe after this, they started with the in-house movement. But I just love the, the rubber strap, the rubber bezel, and then the black dial with the whole rose gold. So this is like, this is kind of like my gold brick watch. But yeah. you can wear it daily, it's sporty, and it's a, uh, Pilot watch, yeah. It's, I believe it's the first wristwatch ever. Like, yeah, Santos, Cartier, like Cartier, Santos, classic. Yeah. Santos Dumont, beautiful. yeah. Yeah, no, this is a sick watch, and it matches everything. So, shameless plug-in for Empire Aqua. Hey, he's wearing the new Empire Aqua T-shirts. So why don't you turn around and show them? Ta-da! All right, this is made from eight plastic bottles. So, be on the lookout for that. Anyway. Why don't we go for a spin? Let's just go check out the area before I got to go to work. And uh, see you guys later. So we made a quick pit stop because the scenery is way too beautiful. Looked over there. Absolutely. Right? But I do want to talk about the Porsche Cayenne. I love this car more and more as a daily. Uh, I can fit so much stuff in the back. And you know what? We've been around the entire Taiwan Island so many times. Down in Kunding, Tainan, now like Changbing, Taidong, you know, Hualien. Honestly, for me, I know that there's more badass looking SUVs or more cooler off-road SUVs, but 
This is the best all-around sports performance daily. daily SUV. It is so fast and it's got huge ceramic brakes. I love my EMC wheels, the MTR design wide body kit, you know, the gray interior, the gray exterior. I mean, everything about it. I think it's the perfect package, you know, and I think I'm gonna hold on to it for a little longer. Now, Dizzy loves it more and more, which is good. So I might tune the ECU. I might drop it with the car graphic module. Anyway, just wanted to give you guys an update because you guys haven't seen this in a while. Yo, Chris, tell me about how the R8 drives, man. Well, you know, everywhere you go, I follow you with my R8, so... Uh, my brother, my brother. We own the 8-hai car, it's already been three times. And I must say, it's also a perfect daily. Um, compared to like, a, I was driving a Lambo, like a Gallardo once, and I must say it's much more stiffer, it's more sporty, and this one is just like the perfect in-between. I just think also with the new KW suspension, it's just like really perfectly adjusted. So like going all over the bumps and everything, it just, it doesn't really like smack or something, it's just like perfect ride. Yeah, it's comfortable on the long ride, but you can also like still race. Yeah. yeah, I do think that your R8 is definitely the best looking Gen 1 R8 in Taiwan, man. Man, I want to say thank you, but I also say yes, it is. <laughs> I'm super proud of it. I'm super proud of what we've done with it. And uh, the new body kit, Darwin Pro, shout out to Hank. Thank you very much. Super dope, all the carbon fiber parts. I love it. And the EMC wheels and the color. Oh yeah. The color. The color of the Inozi Tech wrap. Inozi oh. Tech and Chameleon Sets did a very good job on it. Sets so. it off. Well, hey, guys, let me know. Should we wrap the Cayenne Turbo? Maybe. Uh. You know? Jason, what do you think? Mm. Maybe? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, let us know in the comments. Anyway, we're gonna go around Haidong, check out the B-rolls. Peace.